He got letters. He never told the FBI. He sure as hell never told us. Uh -oh. In the meantime, two very nice elderly people, pillars of this community, are dead. Doesn't have anything to do with you. We're barking up the wrong tree. I, I basically wasted my time here. Thanks. So how's the construction going over with that guy? Okay. Still be up and up? Tangled. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe for years. He's not the hardest worker, right? A little bit lazy. Well, that's why you got me. What? I... I it's murder-suicide. I mean, what? I could just overdose on pills, or close the garage door, sit in your Lexus, and turn the engine on. But this... This husband who loved his wife so much, he shoots her in the face? And then shoots himself in the face with a shotgun? Maybe it's just that a gun gets the job done. Pills don't always work. Maybe. He didn't want one of them dying, the other one surviving and having to live with the guilt. Well, maybe she's the one that brought the trigger. She was the one with the cancer after all. Maybe she doesn't want him there as many else. Maybe she knows he can't live without her. So she surprises him. He's sitting in his easy chair watching reruns of Matlock. She taps him on the shoulder. Bang. Turns the gun on himself. Bang. Weird. Well, the investigation's on game, and I'm following up every day. What about the son? What do we know about him? Christopher. Bit of a fucker, but nothing violent that I can find. Did a year of probation for passing a bad check. Look, here's how I see it. Whoever's writing those letters has a direct line of sight to your house. So, Mitch and Mo, now deceased, up comes Razor. 